Welcome to January's Leaco Challenge. Today's problem is longest substring without repeating characters. Given a string S, find the length of the longest substring without repeating characters. In other words, all the characters are going to be unique. Here in this example, we can see ABC is all unique, but once we hit A, now the longest one is going to be BCA. Now with B, it's going to be CAB. Uh, here it's going to be ABC again, and here it'll be like 2, uh, 1. So basically, the max um, length of our substring is going to be three. Uh, we have a couple more examples here. And all right, so uh, looking at this problem, we can kind of intuit that there's uh, the first naive approach, which is going to be to find every possible substring to do a nested for loop, start with uh, two pointers, one at the start, and another one in a nested loop with the other ones. And we can just get all the different substrings and check to see if all of them are unique. And if it is, save that max length um, and then just return it at the end. But that's going to be an exponential time, O of n squared. So can we do better? Well, like say with this example here, uh, we would want to do this in one pass. And just think about what value do we want to store as we move along. So we can think like we want to have the max length so far. That's like the global max and the current max, which is uh, what have we been able to calculate as a max at this point? So at P, the max length is 1, right, obviously. Here we can see that um, this is also unique, so that's going to be 2. But here with W, um, we already seen W. So we have to look back to see, all right, what was the last time we saw W, which is at index 1, and uh, store the um, max that we can have at this point. So that would actually be 1 here, right? But we want to store the uh, global max, so that's still going to be a 2, and we can just move forward. Now here, um, uh, we have k, so what's going to be max now? Well, we haven't seen that before, but here's the thing. Um, because we've already kind of reset the local max to um, 1, now we know that the most we can go to is actually 2 again, right? Because everything else before this doesn't matter anymore. Uh, we already know that. At W here, there's a repeat, so we can just forget about everything. And here, we can only add 1, so that's going to be a 2. Uh, this one's new, so that's a 3. And again, when we hit W here, we have to look back and say, well, we've seen W here, so uh, we can only go up to that length. So again, that max length is going to be 3. So there's a couple important things we need to store. We need to store the um, some sort of lookup tape, lookup hash, where we need to store the last time that we've seen this letter uh, and update that index number every time we see it. Uh, but we also need one more. Uh, we need to have some sort of pointer that's going to tell us what is the point at which uh, we had to forget about everything else. So here at W, uh, if we like had another P here, uh, we don't want to look back and say, oh, well, P, the last time we saw P is here, so we can like add all these. That's not true, right? Because there's a repeat already in here. So we need to have like some indicator that says, nope, the earliest you can go is here, this W, because we've already seen that that's a repeat. So let's begin by initializing some variables. Uh, we need to have our current max, our called so far, that'll be like the max so far, as well as some sort of pointer, I'll call that start, that's gonna indicate to us the last time that we could uh, move forward. So that's gonna be all zeros here. Uh, we also, let's just initialize a n of the length of s, and we'll have a pointer for i uh, to move through. So uh, you can do enumerate as well, but it uh, just doesn't matter right now. So while i is less than n, first thing we want to check to see is have we seen this character before? So, and to do that, we will store that in sort of a dictionary called, let's call it lookup. So if uh, s of i uh, not in lookup, what do we want to do? We want to increase our current 1, because we know we can add that. Otherwise, we've seen this before. So what do we want to do? Well, we have to get our start, right, and get the one that we could uh, indicate to us as the max. So uh, what we'll do is get the the max of start and, and let's see, lookup of si. And now with our start, now we could update our current to say um, we have our i and we want to minus the start because where are we right now um, and what is the 
maximum index point that we have to use to subtract from where we are right now. Uh, also make sure to indicate here that we're going to um, store the s sub i because we need to update, update that every time. We'll make that equal to i and then just get that so far and store the max between the cur and so far. So cur and so far. Once we do that, we can just return our so far and see if this works. Oops, uh, I forgot to increase our i. So this is going to hit an infinite loop. Okay, let's try this again. All right, so it looks like that's working. Let's submit that. And there we go, accepted. So time complexity wise, it's O of n. We do use extra memory here. Of, um, uh, yeah, and it's probably possible to simplify this algorithm a bit. Um, but as far as the you know optimal solution goes, like this is pretty close. So we'll end it there. Thanks for watching my channel, and remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.